Good afternoon, my name is Jeremiah, Affordable Mobility Solutions. Today I'm shooting a video of my 2004 Dodge Grand Caravan. You can see I have with the key fob here, I can open the power sliding door. The ramp will come down. Uh, the van even kneels, you can see it's squatting, so the kneel works. 800 pound weight capacity, 30 inches wide. You got 53 inches of room coming inside the van and 58 and a half inches of room once you're inside the van. Nice clean carpets, has the base tie downs with it. Got your shoulder harness there for the seat belt. Cup holders in the rear uh, for your rear passengers. That rear seat looks darn near brand new. It's got your spare tire. Plenty of room in the back. And that's one thing people like about the rear entries. You know, the seat will fold down. So if you have luggage to carry or something like that to take, this is a good option to use that. Uh, you got your rear air controls. Headliners, we just put a new headliner in this. Both front seats are removable. So in theory, you can remove both seats. Put a wheelchair on each side and a third one back here. I know it's rare to carry three wheelchairs at a time, but hey, if you got a family with three people in a wheelchair, this might be the van for you. Uh, what a lot of our customers do, they remove the passenger seat there, they put the wheelchair right there, you see there aren't, there aren't wheels, they're easy to get out, and then they just transfer from the wheelchair over to the driver's seat, they're good to go, they drive uh, by themselves, they're independent, they don't have to wait on rides, they don't have to inconvenience anybody, they go when they want to go. This might be a good option for that. Uh, dash is in pretty good shape, has a real hairline crack up there in it. Overall though, very clean. You can operate the conversion there. You got your kneel on and off. I generally turn it off, just one less thing to break, but I turned it on for the video here. If, it, if you get the van out to your place and it's turned off, just off, flip it back to on if you want it on. Dual climate control, rear air controls, got plenty of cup holders up here. And when everybody's secure, and of course if you're in the van, you can use the button up there to take it, take the uh, conversion back up, but I'm gonna use it here. I hold the B button, hold the solid for two, three seconds, okay? Let your finger off. You can see the conversion goes back up. You can see the van is coming back up off the kneel. See that door closes nice and tight. That's what we want. That means the motors are good. You don't want if they pop back out, you're having some issues. I uh, got tinted windows, got the roof rack in case you wanna do any traveling. It's got uh, four, uh, got these Michelin tires on it, about 11, 11, 30 seconds of tread, so nice high dollar tires. Overall, very clean van, hard to find a dent or a scratch on this van. There's a couple small spots, I'll show them to you. But uh, I do see a little scrape here. I'm gonna have my detailer put some touch-up paint on that, um, just to cover up that. I don't know how it came off, I can see a little touch-up paint there. And I do see a little door ding here. I'm gonna have my PDR guy look at that. He missed this one, he didn't have a chance to look at this one yet. So it's not going to be perfect, but I'll pop that out a little bit. But I mean, come on, y'all. For a 2004, almost 20 years old. It's hard to believe 2004 was 20 years ago. Pretty dang clean van. Inside is, is immaculate. Outside is pretty darn clean. And we always show you the VIN number uh, in the video. That way you know how this vehicle in my possession. This is not some internet scam, so no matter who you buy from, Make sure you get a video of that VIN number so you know the vehicle's here in my possession. Okay, what well, we do with that VIN number, run a Carfax report on every one of our vehicles. See, the vehicle's had five owners, does have 16 service history records. Um, an accident reported, I'll show that to you, it was not a major accident. As we scroll down, Carfax shows no salvage, junk, rebuilt, fire, flood, hail, or lemon brands on the title. And they show no total loss, so this is not one of the super risky salvage or rebuilt titles. This is a clean title. Carfax shows no structural damage and airbags have never been deployed. So I'm not afraid to put a vehicle on the lot um, that doesn't have you know, any frame damage, never had the airbags go off. Uh, odometer checks out accurate. Uh, let me scroll down here, I'll show you. Got a long list of service records and it does show in uh, July of 2007. So hard to believe, almost 17 years ago. Hit an object, damage to the front, damage to the left front, damage to the left side. Damage to the right front, airbags did not deploy. So airbags will pop generally about 15 miles an hour. So obviously it was not a major accident. Airbags didn't even go off. And no structural or frame damage, and it's been 17 years ago. So obviously, whatever damage there was, they fixed it right. You know, painted a door, painted a bumper. I'm not afraid to put a vehicle on the lot. It just had some paint work. And again, the vehicle has been serviced regularly. It's been a local vehicle, Missouri and Kansas area, according to the Carfax here. And no matter who you do business with, look them up online, check out their reviews. You can see it's on eBay. Look at that. 1,316 reviews. Every single one of those people, all 1,316, left us positive feedback. 
And no matter who you do business with, find them online. Make sure they are a real company that you're not getting scammed. Find us on Google. We're here in Wichita, Kansas. Look at our 4.8 out of 5 star reviews. I hear people oftentimes complaining to me about how they overpaid $10,000 for a mobility van or they bought one with a bunch of rust out on the East Coast or these guys that buy them from the East Coast and bring them you know, to wherever they are. Uh, I look at those dealers online and they've got one and two and three star reviews. So it's kind of, you know, you bought from somebody with a 2.5 review, star review on Google. What did you think was going to happen? They, they obviously screwed everybody they do, do business with over. You're not going to be any different. So, or they buy from somebody on Craigslist or Facebook, uh, a private party they know nothing about. They get taken advantage of that they get scammed. So, you know, if you want five star vehicles with five star service from a company that's been doing this for over a decade, give me a call. Okay, to the interior of the vehicle, we've got the one key, the one fob. If you want us to get additional ones made on your dime, we'd be happy to do so. I know you've already seen this interior nice and clean. I am a non-smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any smoke, unusual odors, no signs of any cigarette burns or anything in here. And it also has the uh, driver's sliding door. It's manual, opens and shuts. It's a nice option to have to help tie down the other side of the chair if you need it. And I know you've already seen this super clean interior. As I hop in the van to start it up, you can see the miles are 61,264 miles, documented on Carfax, actual miles. And you can see all the dummy lights work and they all go out. Uh, no check engine lights on, no airbag, no ABS. And the lighting, how they're flashing on here, it is not doing that in real life. It's something about how the cameras pick up these older vans. It's only on the older ones. So I can assure you in real life, that's solid green, just like a normal vehicle. Again, I don't know why these pick it up like that, but these lights are 100% fine. I can send you pictures of them. There'll actually be a picture in the uh, in the ad. So, um, got your got our radio here. Okay, the radio works. I've got three mechanics that work for me. We've tested all the power mirrors, power windows, power locks. I'm gonna show you this mirror here works up and down. That one over there. I'm gonna move power windows. We do not just throw these vans on the lot. We are very thorough with everything we do. Hope our video shows that. Uh, but these go through a very thorough inspection before they hit our lot. We do not just throw them on the lot. So let me pop the hood here so you can listen to it run. Underneath the hood is a 3.3 V6 engine. Idles smoothly. No signs of any damage. No signs of any leaks. Engine's got good response time. Purrs like a kitten. As they crawl underneath the van, much of the same. Very clean. No signs of any bent metal from an accident. No signs of any you know, oil leaks or anything like that. Uh, no signs of any major rust from being up north or being in a flood. Gonna have a little bit of surface rust. Gotta remember this van's almost 20 years old, but I see nothing of cause if you're concerned down here. Just standard wear. And that's the number one mistake people make when they buy a used vehicle. They assume things. They assume just because it looks nice in pictures. They assume that it runs and drives good. They assume it has a clean title. They assume it hasn't been in a bad accident. Do not, do not, do not, do not assume things. Go to my competition. Do they show you the reputation so you know you're buying from a reputable dealer? Do they show you Carfax report so you know, you know you're buying a vehicle that has not been in a major accident, one that's got a clean title? Do they get out on their hands and knees like I am right now on this hot pavement and get you pictures, much less videos of the undercarriage? And I know why it is that most of them buy these vehicles from the East Coast. These things are a dime a dozen, they're covered in rust. And let's be honest, most of you can't do what I just did. If you, especially if you're disabled or you won't take the time to do it. So let me take the time to do it and show you. If you buy a vehicle that's got major major issues with the frame, whether it's from rust or from an accident, it may not pass inspection in your state. If it won't pass inspection in your state, guess what? You can't drive it. You've just bought a 4,000 pound paperweight. So do four things. Demand a detailed video like this. Demand a Carfax report. Get online, find out who you're buying from, check out their reputation, make sure you're buying from a reputable dealer. Finally, demand a warranty. Our van comes with a 90 day, 3,000 mile drivetrain plus warranty. Go to any shop in the country. Do not risk buying as is, demand that warranty. We stand behind our product, that's why we offer the warranty. Okay, the final portion of the video, I always like to get the vans out on the highway, give them some gas so you can hear the engine run feel the transmission shift through all the gears and you know whether you take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states or if you come in and drive this caravan home we've done our due diligence we've made sure that it's roadworthy steering wheel is nice and straight and I got it up to 65 miles an hour I'll see you push it up here at about 70 there we go engine's nice and strong 
shifts smoothly, vehicle runs and drives very nice. Uh, with all that being said, please keep in mind we do offer our 90 day warranty complimentary like I mentioned. Got the cruise control set, cruise works by the way. A uh, 90 day, 3000 mile warranty. We do have warranties that also go longer term. They cover not only the warranty, uh, the van, but also the conversion. The conversions can be costly to work on. I strongly recommend getting a long term warranty that covers not only the van, but also the conversion. So talk to me about how you can affordably protect your investment long term. Also keep in mind, we don't have any hidden fees. A lot of these dealers show a real nice price online. Uh, what they have hidden in the fine print or they don't tell you about until it's time to close the deal is a $500 document fee, they've got a tag fee, they've got administrative fees, and oh yeah, they don't have free shipping like we do. Next thing you know, when you add up all those hidden fees, uh, when you add up the shipping, that real nice price jumps three or four thousand dollars. Not such a nice price anymore, is it? So be sure to ask about the hidden fees before you buy. Be sure to check into shipping or sit back, relax. Let me handle all that for you at no additional charge to you. And my question to you, if someone's not telling you the real price of a vehicle, if they've got a bunch of hidden fees on the back end to try and make more money out of you, what else are they hiding from you? Is it a salvage title? Is it flood damage? Is it mechanical issues? You know, I don't know. I just know transparency is key. And if people aren't being transparent from the get-go, there is a really good chance there's other things they're hiding. So be aware of that when you're out shopping. I just gave the van a nice hard break. There was no grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise or vibration. So once again, exactly what we're looking for. And if you'd like to give us a phone call, 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. Now, if texting is easier for you or you just feel more comfortable texting, here's my cell phone, 316-518-4377. My name is Jeremiah. I am the owner. You now have my cell phone number. I challenge you to ask the competition if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give you the owner's cell phone number. Or do you get to talk to an automated system, end up in somebody's voicemail and never get a call back? So if you're like me and you're sick of being just a number to all these companies out there, reach out to myself, the owner, <clears throat> pardon me. Let me walk you through start to finish and get you taken care of. And if you do want to call the competition and talk to a used car salesman, who's going to call you five times a day to ask if you're ready to make a deal, you go right ahead and do that and you enjoy that. If you want absolutely zero pressure sales, I'm just here to give you information, let you make the best decision for you. Give me a call, that's exactly what I'll do because I promise you I'm going to sell this caravan whether you buy it or not, absolutely zero pressure sales here. Uh, yes, we do take trade-ins even from across the country, whether standard or mobility vehicles, call me, I can explain how that works. By the way, got the AC on today, it's ice cold, feels great. And uh, we do have financing available. Uh, we can send an application to your cell phone or your email. If computers aren't your thing, pick up the phone, give me a call, we're happy to take an application over the phone. And if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos just like this, free Carfax reports on every vehicle, and dozens of pictures so you know exactly what you're getting, no surprises, check out the website from the most thorough mobility dealership in the country, at www.mobility316.com. That's mobility316.com. And as always, thank you so much for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. Call us today.